So can you tell us a little bit about the history of yourself and the Philharmonic? Um, well, the history of the Philharmonic and, my, uh, of, and myself started in 2007 with two or three concerts. And what you sometimes have, it was a really very good cooperation. There was something that you cannot describe. And we built up a very warm relationship. And uh, till now, there's a lot of musical pleasure, uh, exciting concerts. And uh, the good thing is that the orchestra during my time changed a little bit. And I hope that the next conductor also will change because we have to develop. develop. And uh, this is a good thing of this orchestra. They are open for new things and for, for higher steps. Thank you. Um, and you conducted you conducted the Brussels Philharmonic recording of the original score for the 2011 film The Artist, yes. which won yes. um, five Oscars, seven BAFTAs, yeah. and three Golden Globes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, how is conducting a movie score different than conducting a classical performance such as tonight's? Well, I've learned in the last few years that conducting a film score needs the same approach as conducting the big classic music. It has to be very serious and also I'm pleased that the uh, the way people look uh, look and listen to film music has changed in the in the past it was like opera if we speak about uh, theater music opera ballet film music now it's really opera ballet film it's theater music and uh, that's why the big orchestras more and more also wants to play this and we are getting more and more concert with live film, so with the artists, but also uh, like uh, concerts with E.T., uh, concert with uh, Back to the Future, but also the Alexander Nevsky, Prokofiev, uh, music of uh, Bernard Herrmann, all those famous things. It's fabulous, fantastic music, and you feel on the orchestra, as soon as we start to play, it's clear. It opens the orchestra, it opens the atmosphere. It's fantastic music. So that, that's what, what, what I like about this. It's, it's, it's theater music. The difference is when, when you conduct with movie is that uh, with singers, they have the intention, sometimes they listen to the music. But the film is not listening. Film is going on. And what we do is we make it a live, live performance so that it looks that we communicate with the film. A very good exa example is uh, West Side Story. We do now also the live concert of the West Side Story with the original voices. And uh, this is, the, the, it's something amazing. They sing, the old singers are singing, and we are playing the music. It's, it's a fantastic experience. Okay, and, to, and tonight's performance is all Beethoven performance, um, including the famous Symphony No. 5, yeah. which is one of the best-known classical compositions of all time. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But what led you to create tonight's program? Um, well, the request was to, to play a real classical uh, program, and this is a good opportunity to tell that Beethoven is classical music. Not all the music played by such an orchestra is classical music. Music played by such an orchestra is symphonic music, because it's a symphony orchestra. Tchaikovsky is not classical music. <coughs> Stravinsky not. But this is from the time from the from Vienna, from the, the classical time, and we play this with big, big pleasure, this fifth symphony and the fifth piano concerto, the famous concerto, and of course the overture. And uh, what we try is to play every night like it's never been played before, like it's new. And I also try sometimes when I have the possibility, the opportunity to speak with the audience, listen like this is the only moment in your life you can hear this music. Don't think about everything else. And that makes a, a wonderful experience. Well, you are a very versatile conductor um, who has worked with many different orchestras from movie scores to classical concerts as well. Um, but I'd just like to finish by asking if there's anything else you'd like to add um, to for our viewers on Periscope about tonight's performance and yourself. Um, what I would like to Add is um, try what I just said. Try to listen like it's the only moment that you can listen to this, and try to imagine this. In the past, 
music was an interruption of silence. When people went to the orchestra or to the concert, there was no more cars, no uh, radio. So it was in the silence that this, fa this fabulous sound was there. Now, music is interruption of noise. Right? All day with the radio, TV, uh, cars, etc. And then, whew, then we have the concert. So I try to ask people to reverse this. Just be this and listen. And don't think about, oh, my car has to go to the garage, or I have to do this, you know. So it's kind of meditation. And it's, this is one of the things I try to do with music. Okay, well, thank you so much. We're looking forward to the performance tonight. Thank you, um, thank you for being here with us today, Maestro. Yeah. It's for a great pleasure for us to be here to make the, this tour in the United States and all special here in this fun fantastic hall, this fabulous place. Well, we're delighted to have you and the Philharmonic come here today. Thank you. Um, so thank you for being here, and thank you to all of those listening today on Periscope. Um, again, we're here in the lobby of Armstrong Auditorium with Maestro Vontel, and I'm Sherry Beasley, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>